Hey guys, it's Carl Brown from GuitarLessons365.com. Today we're going to finish our look at the lead guitar uh, parts to Flying in a Blue Dream by Joe Satriani. So uh, I'm going to just pick up where I left off last time where really kind of it just the whole rhythm of the music changed during the solo. Uh, we're going to pick up there. So that is this part. We're still in standard tuning. <laughs> All right, so what's going on there? We have just this triad here, um, just across the B, G, and the D string of the third fret. He's really focusing on the two middle strings though, and then he keeps rotating it between just kind of holding his thumb here on the low E string, and grabbing that third fret there. So we have this. So we have that. Move up two frets there, then back. And you go three to five again, but this time you slide. So we have this. And we slide there, hit it again, and then we have this. That's, uh, you're playing the fifth fret across the D, G, and the B. Hammer on the sixth fret there on the B. Pick it again. And back to the, uh, C major triad there. All right, next phrase. All right, so that's the th uh, fifth fret there on the G, seventh fret bend, and back to the fifth fret. Slide in now to 14 on the D, over to 12 on the G, and 13 on the B. And then now replace that third, uh, 13th right there with your first finger now. Then a couple of bends there at the 15th fret. Then back to the 13th. All right, next phrase. All right, so that's a bend there at the 15th fret on the B, then 12, 13, 14, 15. You just work your way all the way up. So this. Then half step bend at the 17th fret, uh, three of them. And then. Bend and release at the 15th on the B. Over to 17 on the G. Then 15, 17 on the G. All right, next phrase. All right, so that's a half step bend and release at the 14th fret a few times on the G string. Then, and then we have, that's 12 on the G, 13 on the D, and then he hits a pinch harmonic with the 13th fret on the A string and bends it up a whole step. All right, then, then slide into the 10th fret on the D, and then you have a double stop here at the 8th fret on the G and the B together. that a couple times and then back to the 10th fret on the uh, D all right and now we have this fun uh, lick a little pentatonic uh, bass lick sounds like this all right so we had the... so that's a bend there at the 11th fret whole step bend on the B then roll from the 8 on the high E to the 8 on the B. Then pull off 12 to 8 on the high E strings. So we have this. And then 11 to 8 on the B. You can pick those two notes. And then we have 10, 9 on the G. And then that half step bend and release when you get to that nine on the G. So we have this all together.
And then we're going to play 10-8 on the D. And there's a slight pause there. So we all, all together. All right, from there. And that's just playing 10 on the A to the 8 on the B, uh, D string, sorry. And you just, little slight bends when you hit the uh, 8th fret there on the D. And end it with the 10th fret there. And then we go into that long legato lick, which sounds like this. All right, so just as in the first video, when you get to that kind of signature Satriani legato stuff, first just get the notes, the, the patterns of the notes down first. And then it's just a pretty much the same, the same legato, you know, kind of style pattern that goes through it. So you just gotta follow the scale. So let's learn the three note groupings that these patterns are built from. So we have five, uh, 15, 17, 18 on the high E. Then 13, 15, 17. And 12, 13, 15. And then 10, 12, 13. So we have this so far. I'm just kind of pretty much taking the same lick. And just do it on all three sets. All little three note groups. Now that's not going to be consistent. He's not consistent with the pattern as he goes down either. Like I said, it's more of just a feel of just kind of doing a kind of a cool legato lick all the way through the scale. He probably doesn't do it the same way twice himself, but he does use the same three note groups. So we have, so from there, we go over to the B string now and we're playing the three notes we'll be doing the legato lick with is going to be the 10, 11, and 13. Then over to the G string, the 9, 10, and 12. Staying on the G string, 7, 9, 10. And then we're down to the, the last note group, which is 10, uh, 7, 8, and 10 on the D string. Now what he likes to do is he starts on top and ends on that top note. So we have this. What we did there is we do a bend at the sixth fret, kind of a, a big bend, kind of a slow bend on the sixth fret on low E, up a whole step, and then just release it. All right, so that's it for the soloing. Then he gets back to the same kind of phrase we did or did earlier in the first video. It's just slightly altered, but if you know the notes and you know the song well enough, it's pretty easy to go. I've seen live videos of him doing this, and he actually doesn't play that melody, phrase it the exact same way. He does it really twice, so it's it's kind of like you do your own things with those notes. It's the same exact notes as before. And the same. And it's a little harmonized there, but that's still the main line there that's played that you did in the first video. And so we still have this. Now he actually does it twice here, and there's one of those where he puts a pitch harmonic on the string and then just dive bars. Uh, just kind of that kind of thing. He reaches over and just, you know, you can hit on the B or the G string there. Um, like I said, there's nothing very consistent about that either. And then we have back to the same melody. And then there's a rhythm guitar part that ends it. After you get there, it kind of it closes out the song that keeps repeating. It sounds like this. So this requires a bit of a stretch. You're going to be playing a C major chord here with these fingers here. So you can just grab the bar there at the fifth fret of the D, G, and the B third fret on the A, and you're going to reach up with your pinky and you're going to grab the seventh fret on the B and the G together. So hit the four middle strings, hit that root note first, and then 
four middle strings a few times and then resolve it to the C. So from there, he has this. You're just working on these two, the fifth string and the fourth string together. Three, five there. And then switch it to the fourth fret there on the D string and then back to the fifth fret. So we have this all together. Kind of really uh, accenting that whole the Lydian notes there. All right, so I hope you guys enjoyed it. This has got some really cool guitar stuff in it. It's, it's a very melodic and fun song to play. So uh, it'll keep you busy for a while. I hope you enjoyed it. I'll see you again soon. Bye-bye.